So today we're going to talk about one of the most commonly used uh, modalities in the physiotherapy world, which is ultrasound. Ultrasound was actually invented in the 1940s. Uh, it was start, it started being used uh, at the end of the Second World War. Um, they started using it and they found that uh, by putting ult ultrasound on people who had amputees, it helped them heal faster. So over the years, they've researched why that happens and how ultrasound waves actually help the healing process speed up recovery from bruising or, or muscle damage, speed up the physiology. So we're actually increasing cell activity to get more repair happening quicker. Let me show you how ultrasound works. It really helps patients understand what we're trying to do if you can see the mechanics. So what I've done is I've filled, wrapped the ultrasound head with tape and I've actually filled it with uh, a little bit of water. So you can actually see the effect of the sound waves on the water. And your body is 80% water, so you'll see how you get that vibration effect out of the ultrasound machine. So all we do is we put some water in here and we basically turn the sound head on and what you'll see is you'll end up seeing the water vibrating and what that is is the sound waves agitating the water molecules and making them move. That has a bunch of physiological effects in the body which will decrease swelling, um, increase cell activity and also if we're trying to do some, some heating of say a scar tissue or something we can actually set this to do some heating inside your body as well. So with ultrasound um, what happens is there's a little crystal inside the sound head and we run an electric current through the crystal and that'll vibrate at a certain frequency. That vibration creates sound waves that we will then use gel. So the gel we use, uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually use an Achilles tendon here. So we use the gel and what the gel does is the gel starts um, or gets the sound waves transmitted through the skin into the area you're trying to, to uh, sound with. Um, by changing the settings on the, on the frequency of the crystal, you can actually change the effects to get um, anti-inflammatory effects. If you turn it up, you can get a friction heat inside because the sound waves actually vibrate the molecules in the tendon to start to get the, uh, friction heat. So it just depends on, on what we have set up as, as, a, um, as an intensity. So essentially what happens is we use the gel and so the machine is emitting sound waves and the sound waves go through the gel, through the skin, into the tendon. So in this case, I'm trying to use the ultrasound waves to increase cell activity in the tendon. So the sound waves, the, that vibration that you saw in the, in the demonstration, it ends up um, going into the tendon, increasing cell activity, so we speed up the healing process. And some of this has been shown to actually take um, healing of a bruise and, and cut almost 40% of the time it takes for you to recover by using the sound waves to, to break up that, that bruising and start to get the cells uh, functioning faster to speed up recovery. And so sometimes we get asked questions of is this the same as diagnostic ultrasound um, that you actually see images of an abdomen or a baby or anything like that. It's the same concept. This is much shorter wavelengths and the sound waves actually go in and stay there versus the diagnostic ultrasound which is their long wavelengths and so what they do is they end up going in and bouncing back and into a receiver that then can turn it into a picture. So ultrasound can be used, it can be used to, uh, on a chronic injury to get something uh, heated up so we can stretch it better, or on a, a new injury like a new ankle sprain or a new Achilles tendon in which we're trying to speed up cell activity to get rid of swelling and start getting the person into the next phase of, he of healing.